I was not ready for this. I, I've never done this before, but I guess that once you go through what we went through, you're open to learn whatever it takes to send the message the right way. The show is very authentic, um, pretty much like Joaquin. Funny, smart, and, and he's right there through me on stage, sending a statement and a message. Um, I saw people crying. Uh, I've seen people um, laughing. People will be able to dance, sing, and um, a lot of other surprises. Right. I, I love the, uh, the fact that when they stop me, because they recognize my face, they, uh, they ask me if I'm Joaquin Oliver's dad. They don't ask me my name. And, and, and that tells me that I'm doing the right thing. Because I'm trying, I'm trying, I've been trying since day one to bring Joaquin as an activist and not as a victim. This is not about his mother, this is not about his dad. So every time someone recognizes the name of my son, and that's the way they introduce to me, I love that reaction. Art has the power of impacting people that nothing else has. Um, I could spend hours talking to someone and trying to convince this someone, even a politician, uh, to do things the way that I'm asking him or her to do. And, and at the same time, it will take me minutes to show an image and a graphic and a statement from Joaquin to impact that same person. <laughs> This is not a political <clears throat> statement, um, and I say it very clear while I'm on, during the play. I, I refer as this a, as not a blue or red problem. This is an ethical problem. So the solution is also ethical. It's coming from culture behavior. So the play has also uh, a call to action. As much as I bring the story and the problem, I will also bring the solution. So you're going to have um, your own way of, of reacting and probably prevent this from happening not only to you, but to your friends or to your loved ones. Mm -hmm.